Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got some player ratings for you guys today. Some official player ratings, the Madden 22. They've been coming out pretty quickly uh, starting yesterday. Uh, we got the top 10 rookies. We have the top 10 players on new teams. And we also have the top 10 receivers. Now, if you guys aren't aware, EA is going to be releasing a lot of uh, ratings throughout the week. They're basically going to release all their ratings, all their top 10 ratings from now till Friday. I'm going to do a series of videos like this every day i'm going to release a video so if you guys want to see more videos like this as always hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you guys want to keep up other than that tomorrow i'm pretty sure it's going to be defensive ends and outside linebackers so starting off i'll give you guys uh the rookie ratings that came out yesterday the top 10 rookies came out uh late sunday um typically there's stuff that gets leaked all the time and i'm going to give you my reactions to all these ratings as well um because i think you know there's a lot of times where ea just doesn't get it right so we'll start off with the uh the rookies uh, first of all i think the number one rated rookie should probably be trevor lawrence um, he's a guy that you know he's considered a generational talent at quarterback uh, with you know, he gets compared to the likes of uh, Andrew Luck and uh, John Elway. These are guys that are just expected to be great right out the gate. They come into the pros and they're expected to be great quarterbacks. So for him to come in at number two uh, is kind of disappointing. The number one player on this list is Kyle Pitts. Now Kyle Pitts is a great prospect. I just don't understand. He didn't do. He didn't have the type of college career that some of the players I'm going to mention here did. So it really surprises me that he's the number one player in the rookie ratings with an 81 overall. The only player above 80 uh, is Kyle Pitts. Like I said, I'm, I'm all for Kyle Pitts. I think he's going to be a great player. But I think that the hype train behind this guy is a little bit, uh, it's just not really earned at this point, considering that he just didn't do a lot in college. And there's a lot of players on this list that did. And in my opinion, they're probably better prospects. It wouldn't surprise me if Kyle Pitts turns out to be a great player and it wouldn't surprise me if he turned out to be a bust. It's just how it goes. But I think it's a bit much to have him the highest rated player in the rookie class. When I look at guys that could be Hall of Famers like Trevor Lawrence coming in at number two, he comes in at a 78 overall. Then you have uh, number three, the, the, the highest receiver on this list is kind of confusing as well with Jalen Waddle, another guy who really didn't do a ton in college. A lot of these, you know, were because of injuries between these two players. But I really thought, I mean, when you had the type of year that Jamar Chase had, not last year, but obviously the year before that, or the type of year last year that Devontae Smith had last year, where he basically was just the biggest star in college football, I really thought that one of those guys would be pushing an 80. Uh, but instead, they're both kind of far down the list as a 75. But I'm going to go down the list here. So Jalen Wild is a 76. He's the third highest rated player. I don't know if speed helps that rating out because he's supposed to be the fastest receiver. That I can understand. But ultimately, I don't know if that would affect his overall rating to make him better prospect than these other receivers. Then Patrick Sertain, the second, is tied for four, tied for third with a 76 overall. The 75 start off with Zach Wilson, quarterback from the Jets, Jamar Chase, uh, who I just mentioned, and Devontae Smith with, of the Eagles, who's also a 75. So those guys are, you know, I mean, they're still pretty high, but I, I really feel like all these ratings overall are pretty low. The last two are quarterbacks Trey Lance, who's a 74, and Justin Fields, who's a 74. Now, Trey Lance was the third overall pick. Justin Fields was, what, the 12th? So even though they were so far apart, I guess EA sees them pretty similarly. To me, uh, Justin Fields is a better prospect than Trey Lance at this point. Trey Lance didn't even really play in college, but it, which is my understanding. He was also hurt a lot. He, I don't think he's... Uh, as developed as I think Justin Fields is. So that's another, even though Trey Lance was drafted higher, I think Justin Fields should have been a higher um, a higher overall than him. So that's the top 10 rookies. Then we get to the, um, I, I, I don't know if this is really top 10, uh, but this is just some notable ratings that uh, have been released for uh, guys on new teams. Guys like Matt Stafford, uh, he's basically holding strong at about an 83. Jared Goff is a 77. Carson Wentz is a 72, which, man, is that a, a hard drop for Carson Wentz. That guy's like a barely starting caliber now. Jalen Hurts, his replacement in Philadelphia, is a 71. Uh, Sam Darnold is a 71 in Carolina. These are all guys that could shoot up quickly if they have a good season, by the way. All the quarterbacks I just mentioned. Then we get to some, uh, you know, some, some more well-known faces. Uh, a pleasant surprise that Julio Jones is a 95 overall in this year's Madden. I could have saw him get take a ratings drop for some reason just because of his age. and um, He didn't have a great year last year. I think he was injured a little bit. 
But uh, it's good to see that he's still going to be up there because I'm pretty sure that Derrick Henry is going to be at 99. That's going to be one of the most exciting tandems is those two guys to play with. Uh, and then J.J. Watt coming in at 94 overall and uh, John U. Smith at 81 overall uh, for the um, for the New England Patriots. So let's go and let's get ahead to the uh, receivers because, like I said, today's receivers, tomorrow's defensive linemen, edge, rush, edge rushers, uh, and then the running backs are on the 28th. Uh, safety's on the 29th, quarterback's on the 30th. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get right to the top 10 rated uh, receivers. Now, we're going to start off with a new 99 overall rated player who was rated 99 at the end of last match, so it shouldn't really surprise anybody. But Devontae Adams is a 99 overall rated player. He is the first member of the 99 uh, club. Uh, and I think that's well deserved. He's a really good player, but I mean, he is catching passes from Aaron Rodgers. So, I, you know, part of me still thinks that DeAndre Hopkins, who comes in second at a 98, could possibly still be a 99. He was a 99 overall last year when Madden 21 dropped. Uh, but for whatever reason, I mean, he didn't do anything other than make amazing plays all year. And DeAndre Hopkins is the man who comes away with it. And for some reason, he took a step back. But hey, it is what it is. At number three, though, I am a little bit surprised. I would say the third best receiver or, you know, a top three caliber receiver from last year would probably be Stephon Diggs. But he doesn't come in at number three. He comes in at number four with a 97 overall. Number three uh, is, is Tyreek Hill. Now, here's his highest rating to date as a 98 overall. Uh, once again, I mean, I said in my, uh, you know, previous video that I thought that him... Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey could all be 99s and nobody would argue. But even I'm surprised, even after saying that, he's as high as a 98. So that's the top three. Uh, like I said, Stefan Diggs, number four, 97 overall. Julio Jones uh, comes in at a 95, which I previously mentioned. And then Michael Thomas takes quite a drop from being a 99 last year uh, to start a man to a 94 this year. Number seven, Keenan Allen, a uh, very consistent player. Number eight, Amari Cooper at a 92. And then number nine, Mike Evans at a 91, uh, which a lot of these ratings don't sound like they've really changed too much. Number 10, rounding out the top 10 list is Allen Robinson. That's, you know, the number 10 guy could have been a number of guys. I don't really have a problem with any of the ratings when it comes to the receivers uh, i just think that you know there's probably a couple guys that could have been in the mix for those bottom slots in the top 10 but i think overall they got it as about as right as they could as far as the consistency of some of these players so there's definitely um you know it's definitely a solid list i'm happy to see tyreek hill get a bump even though i'm not sure if he should be quite a 98 yet i feel like stefan diggs after the year he had last year probably um, number one he should get a speeding boost and number two i think or uh, Number one, I think he should get a speed ratings boost. Uh, and number two, I still I think that Stefan Diggs proved that he's probably, um, you know, he's in the running for best receiver in the league. Uh, after leading the league in most statistical categories like catches and, and yards, I'm pretty sure he did, if I remember correctly. So that's the list. Uh, like I said, there's going to be uh, more ranks tomorrow. So if you guys want to see that tomorrow, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching the Manly Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.